everybody welcome back so for today's video i'm going to do a uh, how to groom your horse so we're going to start off with what you need so you need something to hold all the brushes i have a grooming caddy but you can use anything like a bag basket anything like that so the first brush you're going to want is a curry comb which is this one Then you're going to want a dandy brush. A mane and tail brush. A face brush, which is just a softer it's softer than the dandy brush so that it doesn't hurt their face too much. You're gonna want a shedding slash sweat blade. So one side has no bristles, one side does. Then I also have this brush, which is just another shedding brush. And lastly, you're gonna want a hoof pick. Also, if you're interested in braiding, you're going to want little rubber bands. So I'm going to quickly groom Mabel and then demonstrate how each brush is used on another horse. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use each brush, starting with the curry comb. So there's a couple different ways you can use it. You can either go straight with the hair like this, circular with the hair, or opposite with the hair. So I like going like this just because it goes by faster. After the curry comb, you want to use the dandy brush and flick all of the dust off. So next is the mane and tail brush. Um, you just basically brush their hair like it's your own. You so I just wanted to say, if you're interested in braiding them, the mane you can braid any time of the year, but the tail, you can. Just don't braid the whole thing during the summer because it is their fly swatter, and if you braid it, they lose that. So the last brush is the face brush, and this you just want to lightly brush around the face. So I'm going to go spray her with some bug spray, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to go groom Sally.
good to see if I can get Izzy sweating so I can show what the sweat blade is used for. When your horse is shedding, you want to use your sweat blade and you want to use the flat side of it and the dandy brush. So a couple of things I wanted to say about grooming is one, it's a perfect way for you to bond with your horse and it's also a very good time to check on them, make sure they don't have any bobos or anything that's bothering them. Also, if you're going to harness or saddle, make sure that where everything touches is nice and groomed because you don't want anything there to rub between the pad and their hair because it can start to irritate them. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!